And you left for a while. I left for seven years. What was the what was the thing behind that? Seven years. There's a lot of self sabotage, right? Like people don't. People talk about the fear of failure, right? But they also they don't talk enough, I think, about the fear of success. Because at the time I was 19, and I was doing well, and I was making a name for myself. I also didn't really have. Uh, I didn't really have any support or any like backing or any guidance. Like my mom didn't want me wrestling. And if you weren't in WWE, you were off fending for yourself. And I wasn't making a lot of money. I make what, like 50, $50 a weekend or whatever, if even. So it was just like a lot of, uh, like I got so in my head, I gotta succeed, I gotta succeed, I gotta succeed, I gotta succeed. But then it was like, oh, but what if I do? And what if I'm not good enough? And what if, you know, and, and, and all these things. Um, so I kind of, I just, I, I kind of got depressed, I got confused, I got lost, I got hurt in a match, and I kind of used that as an excuse to kind of step away and say, look, I don't, and I couldn't even face up to the fact that I couldn't face up to it, you know, like, I, I, uh, I had to hide behind an excuse of, oh, I'm hurt, you know, um, which, which is why I think I take extra uh, exception to when I'm genuinely hurt and people are calling me out like I'm hiding behind something because I missed a week. I missed a week. I know what it is. I know what it is to hide behind an excuse because I did it before because I did it when I was younger. And, and I have never felt more low and more ashamed of myself for doing that. I felt like I turned my back on this thing that, that had given me a life, that had given me a drive, that had given me a passion, that had given me a purpose. And when I tell you that I I, I, I paid for it, I definitely did, because I completely lost myself. 